Hello, wonderful souls. Welcome back to my channel. I'm still new to this whole YouTube thing. Please don't forget to hit that subscribe button and comment only if you feel like it. I'm not pushy, but it would actually make me really happy. Okay, imagine this with me. You win the first time, you are happy, and you can't believe it. You then win the second time, then the fourth, then the tenth. How about 1,000 times, or maybe five? Your life changed, and now you are on a totally different path than you ever expected. Now you may have unlocked something or started seeing things clearly for what they are. Well, something similar happened to Helene Hetzelis. She went on to become known as the Contest Queen. She actually won thousands of contests. She was a normal human being, just like you and me. What was different was how she approached things. Again, she was a normal being. But with her powerful belief and skillful visualization, she was able to win thousands of contests and competitions. She literally proved that anyone can achieve similar success with the right mindset and approach. What really fascinates me about this story is the magnitude of it. So Helene went out to enter in thousands of contests, and she would always come victorious. Imagine how many contests she entered and won, and she would be the winner amongst other random million participants. I think that alone is really amazing. But how did she do it? Even against so many other participants, her faith was not shaken. She envisioned winning. She already knew she would win. She prepared for it beforehand, as if she had already won the grand prize. Now let's take a closer look at this. What is this spec method she used, and how did it help her win so many times? It's actually not that difficult to understand. SPEC stands for Select It, Project It, Expect It, and Collect It. The first step would be to select it. As the name suggests, all you have to do in the first step is select what you want, but you have to choose exactly what you want. Imagine if it's a car you want or money. Be very specific, like how much money you want and when. Basically, know what you want and be very specific. Now that you know exactly what you want, the second step is to project it. Remember earlier that Helene used to prepare for her grand prize as if she won. You have to do the same now. Feel as if you already have it, even though it is not true. Look at it this way. It's a bit cringy, but what you desire already exists. You don't really need to create it. You just need to attract it towards you. Now we can move on to the next step. Expect it. So once you have decided on what you want and have a vivid picture of the thing you are desiring, now you have to expect that thing to happen. Think of it this way. You ordered a pizza and it's on its way. You've placed the order and now you're just waiting for it to arrive. Avoid doubts like, will it be delivered? When will it come? Is it really on its way? You know, the stronger your belief that the pizza is already yours, the sooner it'll be at your doorstep. Where the opposite, has it ever happened to you where you get so happy about something you're expecting, like an Amazon package or something? Then you start planting so many doubts that actually something ends up happening and ruins your day. You still manifested, you know? But you sent the wrong message out there, so we have to shift our mindset. Do you see how important it is now to think positively? You are like this huge antenna that sends out signals constantly. So next time you see yourself having those thoughts, Acknowledge their existence and choose to think positively instead. The only competition you ever have is with yourself. That's when you doubt yourself. And now the last step is to collect. Collect what you asked for and be ready to receive it and be grateful for getting it. Helene Hatzel said, I was convinced that if enough positive mental energy is sent out, things eventually manifest in the physical. If you want to learn more about her and her ways, I would highly recommend this book. I will leave it below. The Name It and Claim It Game, The Power of Mind and Visualization. I actually loved it and would highly recommend it. And this wraps up today's video. I really hope you liked today's video, and if you found this helpful, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe for more, and share it with anyone who needs a positive shift in their life. Thanks again, and until next time, keep dreaming, keep visualizing, and keep manifesting.